Yo, yo, what it do? You know who it be? It's your man, a hundred grand, one Miguel. Uh, let's get, let's, you know, we gotta get the background music going here. Let's get this moving. There we go. Gotta get that in the in the mix. Uh, how y'all feeling on this Friday? On this Friday of the day? Let's see who's in the building. Uh, real impromptu live. Use Logic Pro X. Yes, that's what's up. It works for Logic Pro. Uh, my man Derek is in the building. What's good? What's up? What's up? What's up? Where y'all watching from? You know how we do. Come on, y'all. You know I, I can't get going until we. You know, we, we kind of see what's up. But do me a solid favor, those that are watching this about, I'm looking at about, between all the platforms, about 23, 24 of you. If you guys could do me a real solid favor uh, and hit the share button because I'm going to be sharing some value today uh, on some things. I got some stuff that I want you guys to help me with. So please do me a real solid favor uh, and just hit the share button. And I'll, if you can also do me a favor is on uh, whatever platform you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, that like button let's run those likes up let's run those shares up uh let's see what we got going on here like yo 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 who's in the building on this friday Shh, orlando that's what's up orlando is in the building what's good what's good zion uh my, my uh, daughter's name is zion um uh, you know that's dope uh what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm not going to prolong too much time today. I got a couple of really uh, quick things I want to do, uh, and uh, we're just going to keep uh, we're gonna keep rocking. Uh, I just got a few things I want to share with you guys and bring the music on down. Let's bring it on down. Uh, all right, so uh, loop track. This is the first thing that I want to kind of tag in on today. Uh, I just want to say... Uh, absolute thanks to the community uh, for you guys um, uh, for uh, sharing uh, and doing all of the things that you guys are doing with Loop Track. We have literally had thousands, I mean thousands, we've had thousands of downloads on this particular plugin uh, over the last week. It has been amazing, an absolutely amazing uh, last seven days since we dropped it. It's only been out a week and we've had thousands of people to download this. It is just mind blowing. And then all of the responses that people have given me, uh, all of the emails, uh, the comments, um, uh, responses, tagging us in, in the, uh, pictures and videos, uh, has all been, uh, amazing to me. Uh, and I want to say I'm grateful for that. And I'm thankful to you guys for, um, uh, supporting at the level that you have supported. I said it before when we dropped Loop Track that it was, um, uh, this was, um, this was my passion, you know, and I can't do what I do without you guys. And that meant that. That is, that is the whole thing, the whole reason behind Loop Track. So uh, I, I wanted to hop on today live real quick because it's just quicker for me to just do this live, do all these things live versus, um, trying to record them and then edit it and then repost it and then do all of those things like that when it's just basically some some things i want to share i can hop on real quick and do this all in a format that works uh for uh the community all right so again hit those share buttons for me if you can if you if you will as my man uh cedric thompson says all the time if you will uh, bless your heart. Uh, if you could, please upload, not upload, Lord have mercy, because we're going to be talking about upload today. If you could, please hit the, sh hit the share button for your boy. Uh, if you watch, especially if you're watching on Facebook, uh, let's run these numbers up because I got some dope stuff that I want to share uh, with you today. Now, uh, for those of you who just might not know, oh, let me look at comments real quick. I see I had some comments come in before we jump into, uh, we jump into what we're doing with my comments. Said I got to get them up on the screen here. So I can see here uh, what we got here. Oh, Detroit is in the house. That's what's up, uh, Detroit. I've been trying to get up there and trying to get up to the, to Detroit uh, for a minute now. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Vadosta GA is in the building. What camera am I shooting on? I'm on Black Magic uh, Pocket 4K. That's what this is called. Uh, let's see here. Uh, thank you, John Mike. Having uh, haven't bought Drum Warehouse Volume Two Loop Elements Month. 
uh, have bought. Okay, dope, dope, dope. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate the support. Again, this was always a give back to, this, to the community. Uh, thank you for this. The quality samples are some of the best I've heard yet. Awesome, man. That's dope. Um, let's see. What else did I get? What did I get here? Bay Area in the building. Cali, that's what's up. And North Carolina, I'm out here in North Carolina as well. All right. Uh, so uh, for those of you who just might not know, uh, I released a plugin last week called Loop Track. Uh, and Loop Track is uh, a totally free drum uh, plugin that has drum samples. And we're going to look at it here real quickly in a second, just in case. This is just for the people who haven't seen it. That's it. I'm going to run through it real quick. But you can come. There's a link that I posted. You can download this absolutely free 400 uh, drum samples that you can use to create loops, click tracks, uh, production, whatever you want to do. There's just, just hundreds of samples uh, that you can have in there to be able to do what you need to do. All right. Uh, so we got videos over here, audio examples, uh, all of those things like that gives you all of the details. I did want to read a few of these um uh, reviews because we had a ton of reviews that came in people just saying like this is good definitely recommend uh, this is amazing um, great product this is such a vibe I mean this is amazing like some of the people that were just coming in and just 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 laying it out here uh, my man said I just got my copy what do you say I just got my copy can't wait uh, to dig in here uh, Michael Harvey, let's zoom in a little bit. Michael Harvey says, Loop Track is a much needed sample player. Uh, the sounds are good quality and the FX are what pushes it over the top. No need for extra plugins to do sound design. This plugin offers that already and we're giving it away for free. You can uh, you can scan that QR code, uh, screenshot it, tap it later in your uh, camera roll uh, and it'll get you there. Great plugin, amazing. Uh, my man said, we're working on something like that. That's going to be really, really cool. There's going to be some updates. Uh, he said, I'm thankful that Goss Producers keep dropping resources for faster workflow, quality production. Thank you so much. Um, this one was my guy, Eric Lou. He said, so after spending a few days with Loop Track, I got to say the sounds uh, are uh, great. Of course, the interface is easy to use when expecting anything less. Uh, but the EQ and FX, oh my God, uh, the EQ center and frequencies are perfect. And the sweep is so smooth. Uh, accessing MIDI files is easy. So y'all stay tuned because we're going to talk about the MIDI files in just a second. That's the main point for this stream. Uh, I'm blown away. I always, I know we always say this, but great job, John. This one really blessed me. My man said, yo, no cap, but this joint has leveled uh, my tracking in Ableton for church services tremendously. Uh, instead of inserting loops, I'm able to use this one plugin and make multiple loops for each individual song without having to have multiple tracks of the same plugin. Truly dope. Uh, so it's just, you can go into the page. The link is down there. You can read all of these, um, you know, amazing, um, um, uh, reviews that have came in on loop track since we started. It's all right in here. These guys are, are really enjoying it. Uh, and you can download it free and get the same uh, experiences or what have you. Uh, let's see here. My man says, what's the website? Uh, link is in the description of this video. Uh, it should be in the caption maybe. Uh, if not, you can just go to gospelproducers.com. Just go to gospelproducers.com. It's the first thing on the page. As soon as you jump on there, you'll be able to download it uh, absolutely free, my man. Uh, so again, make sure y'all hit, the, if y'all just coming in, hit the share button for me since you just came in because again, I'm giving away value. We're giving away free plugins. We doing what we do. Uh, drop it in. We're trying to make this the biggest Best plugin on the market. I shared a little bit earlier that thousands of people have downloaded this in a week, and it's just phenomenal to me to see uh, the community really jump on board uh, and really uh, get behind this. So it's been uh, amazing. And so I want to talk to you guys uh, real quick. I'm going to show you guys in case y'all just don't know, um, you haven't seen Loop Track. This is Loop Track. This is the plugin. It's got all kind of samples. I mean, just everything you can need, all kind of effects. Uh, we've got a limiter, built-in limiter. We got um, 
Um, my degrade is my favorite feature of this plugin that we were able to develop. Uh, it's just the, the height of it. So like this is without the degrade. Right, but then if I add in the grade, I get this. Let's add in some more. Then we've got like little things like verb, you know what I mean? Just to really bring it up for you guys. Saturation to really bring out those transients. And EQ, of course, like my man was talking about. Pitch, you can adjust the pitch on stuff, so. You know what I mean? It's all there. Uh, really, really dope. Uh, we put a lot of thought and effort into trying to really uh, build this out and make it into uh, something um, amazing. That's just what, we, what we're doing. We got some more updates we're going to be doing in a week. I'm almost finished with the Pro Tools version uh, for AAX. Also, sneak peek, uh, you guys hear it first here. We're almost done with um, the... Um, uh, AAX version of Peculiar Sound. So I'm hoping within the next week, maybe, I can get Peculiar Sounds. You guys will have this and Peculiar Sounds both in uh, AAX format. That's for all my Pro Tools users out there that's been uh, waiting on this. So you can get this plugin for free. 400 samples, kick banks, clap banks, kick snaps, all those things, 400 samples, uh, and hundreds of MIDI files are uh, all uh, in one plugin, uh, and that is Loop Track. You can screenshot this QR code right here. Uh, you can screenshot it on your phone, and then you can tap it in your camera roll. It'll take you straight to the page where you can download um, Loop Track. Uh, or you can hit the link in the description of the video, uh, whatever works for you, whatever floats your particular boat, all right? Uh, and you can get this absolutely free, no strings attached. It's no charge for it. I'm doing this for the community. And then uh, I'm about to get ready and drop on you guys this next segment where I'm gonna, we're going to talk about how, as a community, the reason I'm giving this to the community and how, as a community, we can band together to grow this thing into what I want to be the best and the largest uh, community of um, producers using, you know, for loops, the the biggest plugin for, for like drums on the internet. Let's just do that. And we have the power to do that. And it's not going to take many of us to do this. That's why I called this when we talked about this last week. My most ambitious project to date is Loop Track. I've never done anything at the scale that I'm trying to do this at. Uh, and I want you guys to help me. That is the biggest part. I'm giving so that you can give. All right. It's a, a reciprocal type thing. I'm giving. I, I took like full disclosure, four or five months to develop this plugin. I'm talking. I hand coded this myself. I coded this plugin, got all of the samples, created all of the effects, put all of this time, all of this effort into building this this thing. And I was initially going to sell it. But then the closer I got to the finish of development, I said, you know what? This is a gift to the community. I want to give this to the community. The closer I got to, to, to the finishing of this project, it just made more and more sense to make this a, uh, a open project for the community. And so this is where that thought process and where that heart comes out is building it out. And so we've had thousands of people, thousands of producers, thousands of musicians to download this already. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to grow and scale over the next, you know, three to two, two, one, two, three years. This could be a huge. We could probably have hundreds of thousands of downloads on this thing by then. And that's my hope and my prayer. All right. So uh, I'm going to talk about how you guys can be involved here. Let me get a couple of uh, comments here. Hold on. Uh, hold on. I missed. OK, let me share. Um, San Pablo, California. Dope. Uh, thank you, sir. We'll test it out Sunday morning. My man said, wait, what? Uh, is live stream showing? Yes, I'm going to show you how to download these files and how to use them uh, here in just a second. This is the next thing. Uh, yes, I'm going to I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. The loops in just a second. Uh, downloaded the plugin, working well in Studio One. But then, okay, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna help you with that in just a second because I'm gonna show you exactly where you can download the files. Yes. So, all right. So there's you should have got an email. I sent out an email yesterday because a lot of people are having trouble finding the files. But I'm going to show you exactly where you can find the files um, 
uh, in a more straight line, easy way. Uh, and that is actually to go to the product page, the same link that's in the description of this video. And if you scroll down here, there is a big link. There's two links here at the bottom of this page. Well, not at the bottom of this page, in the middle of this page. One that says download community MIDI files here. So you can click that and it will take you to the page uh, to, to be able to download this. I might even actually trigger the download. Yeah, it triggers the download. So you can go ahead and download those files just by doing that. All right. That is the easiest way uh, to get in there. Uh oh, did I mean to do that? I meant to, let me command Z it. And uh, hold on guys, we're gonna get back here. Let's get back to the page, boom, all right. So that's where you can download the files is on this page and I also sent out an email and you should have a link. You should be able to go into your um, dashboard on your account as well uh let's see if it'll let me do that my downloads and if you go to like orders for instance let's see you should see i should be able to see loop track on here it should say uh here and then you could go in here yep loop track and under order details here, you'll have the link there as well. So that's three ways you can get it. It's in your email. Uh, it's on the product page. And if all else fails, if you still can't find it for whatever reason, just go to your order details place page on the website. Once you log into the your account and you'll see it right there, uh, it gives you the link to be able to download uh, the community MIDI files. All right. So uh, speaking of being able to download uh, and get into the community MIDI files, uh, let me get over here. Uh, real quick, this is the actual MIDI files folder right here, all right? Uh, and this is what you'll get right now. There's a few hundred loops. Just in my folder alone, there are 120 loops just in this one folder alone, all right? And you can easily uh, dig in here and uh, jump and grab all of this stuff, all right? That's right in that uh, particular folder. Why is that in there? This shouldn't be in there. Let's delete that. Well, not those two, but these two right here, gone. I don't know how that got in there, but whatever. Um, so um, you got different things. You got some boom bap loops in here that somebody uploaded. Uh, you got some guy, and it's by you know producers that, that these are different producers that have uh, commute have uploaded. So if you upload and we you know curate and get your loops in here, we'll put your name on the folder. Everybody will be able to see your name. Don't be trying to market and advertise and do all of those things like that. Don't put you know we just gonna put your name, whatever your name is, we are gonna put it on there or whatever. Uh, so you'll be able to dig in there and get this folder. That's how you will be able uh, to to download. So um, that's in there or whatever. So um, if you're having trouble downloading, just hit us up in customer support. We'll help you. Uh, we'll help you there. What have you? All right. All right. So hit us up in support. We'll help you. So you'll be able to get these files. And let's jump over here real quick. I'm going to open up Logic here, and I'm going to show you how you can use these MIDI files. So here in Logic, I have loop track pulled up on a track. I have these MIDI files, uh, and I can literally just go in here and find, uh, like, let's just say this drill beat. I love drill music. You know, this is something I just did. So I changed my BPM to 140, right? Uh, and then I would come back here. And then I can just drag in, let's see, we're just gonna do, uh, we'll drag this in here and we'll just put it right there. Uh, we'll just hit no. Right? And then we can start, I can use these MIDI files to start building out everything or whatever. Uh, then we can add in no kick, for instance, drop that in there. No. And so now we have this to come in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then I can drag in the full beat. I'm saying
You know what I'm saying? So it's that kind of vibe or whatever. Um, let me know. I hope you guys didn't hear no echo or nothing like that. If so, I need to bring my – let me bring my, my volume down just a little bit uh, on this because it shouldn't be that loud. Let's see. There we go. So it's just that easy. You can go in and grab any file, any of these files out of the folder, you know what I mean, and just drag them in and be able to just get to work, you know what I'm saying, with uh, with that or whatever, without having to even program. Uh, and we're adding in new loops every week. So as I'm getting people that are submitting loops, uh, I am adding them to the, curating them and adding them uh, to uh, the folder. All right. So that is how uh, you would actually use the MIDI files that are included uh, with loop track. All right. So uh, that's one way with that. Let me jump over here real quick because um, I want to talk to you guys about how you guys can help um, can help to help us build this resource. All right. So again, we are not only are we giving the MIDI file folder, but we're opening it up for everybody to be able, anybody to be able to upload MIDI files or MIDI loops into uh, the community pool of folder, the community folder, MIDI file folder. And you guys can uh, upload that and we will add it into curate it and add it into it. So we're not just throwing everything up there. We're going to listen to these loops and then we're going to decide each week or, you know, on a periodic basis of what we're going to add in there. Like, oh, these are good. These are, this is a good submission or what have you. So this is how you guys can get involved and help us to grow this resource as large as possible. All right. So all you have to do is download loop track, of course, uh, and then uh, create some MIDI files and then upload them to the community uh, MIDI file folder. Now, check this out. If only like a hundred of you guys, if a hundred of you guys out of the thousands that's downloaded loop track already, if only a hundred of you guys just did 10 loops a piece, you know, just created 10 quick loops and threw those up, we'd have a thousand loops in there just that easy. But if a thousand of you, a thousand people, a thousand of the people that's downloaded loop track, just a thousand. If a thousand people did 10 loops and uploaded it, we would have 10,000 loops in the folder. How amazingly crazy would that be? And that is the goal that I have, one of the goals that I have with Loop Track. There's others, but one of the first mile markers that I'm trying to hit is to get a thousand people to upload 10 loops. That would be crazy. We'd have 10,000 loops. So you'd have a free plugin that comes with 10,000 loops in it crazy right that's the goal that i'm trying to hit that's why i said this is the most ambitious project that i've done up to this point let's get a thousand people to upload 10 loops so if you're willing to do that man drop it in drop it in the chat let me know like i'll do it i'll upload my lips i know it's only a handful of y'all here but a handful is where it starts i know a lot of people will watch after the fact but if you're watching after the fact and you decide that you want to hop in make sure you drop it down and let us know that you are going to commit to upload 10 loops that would be amazing and i'm going to be reiterating that fact over the next thing let me know that we can we can build this thing and make this huge and that is my goal that is my plan to make this huge you know what I mean? A huge resource for us as producers and engineers and musicians. You know what I mean? Uh, to where we don't have to search for those perfect loops. They're already kind of created in whatever form uh, uh, or fashion or what have you. Uh, I got my man coming out already. He said, I'll definitely do it. Thank you so much, my man. Uh, BMC uh, Media Group said, I'll upload. Uh, Facebook user, somebody in the group, uh, in, the, in the Facebook group said, I'll upload. Dope. Man, I appreciate and honor you guys for helping me to grow this. Uh, my man said, I'm late to the party, but I know what's going on. Yes, sir. Uh, let's get these. Let's let's build this resource let's build this resource uh what up though tracks all day if you got tracks all day i need you to upload tracks to this all day you know what i'm saying let's do that let's do that cheese all right so um i appreciate you guys on that so let me show you guys how we can upload all right so i'm gonna jump back over here and i'm gonna show you guys how and the stipulations of uploading all right so uh, let me show you guys the community folder first, and I'm going to give you guys this, uh, the community upload this page, and I'm going to give you guys, we're going to go over some housekeeping because this is what's important right here. All right. When you are up, this is all on the page. When you go to, when you click on the upload request page, you're going to be hit with all of this. All right. 
So make sure you read all of this and you abide by this. Anything else, that anything that does not abide by these rules will be deleted, boys and girls. So please, we're gonna, I'm going to highlight these things. Please use the default kit when creating your MIDI files. Uh, this is important because this allows it to be universal uh, across anybody when they drag in the loop. That's why we created one default kit that has like, you know, 88 samples and samples mapped all across the key. So it gives so many variations that people can use. And these are some of the best samples, curated samples out of loop track are on the default kit. And then you have clap banks and kick banks and all of those other banks, right? So um, what you can do is, is use the default kit, create your MIDI track. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, and then uh, export it. And then we're gonna upload it. So, um, this will, these are some important things. This will be a forever free public folder with free MIDI files for loop track only, all right? You can contribute as little or as much as you like. Here's where it gets pointed. When uploading, this is my mo one of my most important thing. When uploading, uh, please upload a zip folder. Zip the folder. I'm gonna show you how to do this in just a second. Uh, zip the folder with your name on it and how many files are in there. So as an example, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do this right here. Look at this folder right here that I got. It says John Mike, there's nothing in it right now, but it says John Mike, MIDI files, five loops. So if I got a folder that has, so if I'm just gonna grab five loops here, I'm just gonna grab them. We're gonna grab five loops. Uh, that's more than five, that's like, Six, let's see, one, two, three. This looks like five right here. Whatever, five loops. Six, I can't count today. Take that one off. Boom. We're gonna drag this into this folder. I got five loops in this folder, right? I'm gonna take this folder and I'm gonna zip it. On Mac, you can just right click and compress. Boom, it's zipped, right? Now let me put these loops back <laughs> where they were because I think I actually moved them out of the folder. Wasn't trying to do that actually. Uh, yes, move. All right, let's just put them back in there. So I've got a folder here with five loops. John Mike, MIDI files, five loops. That's just an example. Put that on there. John Mike, MIDI files, five loops. On this page, and then I'll show you how to upload that in a second. You know, so we got that. You know, it could be in that standpoint. Only include MIDI files. I've been having some people uploading WAV files. They've been uploading, um, they've been uploading uh, samples, kicks, claps. They've been uploading videos. They've been uploading all kind of stuff. I mean, videos, audios. I've had people try to upload viruses into the thing. I have exe files. Of course, we have a separate. And so, for you guys to know, we have a separate folder. So, when you upload to this folder, it actually does not go to the community folder by default. When you upload to this folder, it actually only goes to uh, it goes to a secondary folder so we can review it because we're not sending these files. Just allowing people to upload into this folder and it's going to everybody's computer and we don't know what it is. No, we're, we're this is uploading to a separate private folder that we only have access to and we can review the files before we put them up, all right? So make sure that you only include MIDI files in the folder. No audio, no video files, no EXE files, no DMG files. Don't try to send up a video. Don't 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 put, post a link to your OnlyFans account. Don't drop all of that stuff in there. We just want dot m e m i d not mid m i d files dot mid files right nothing else and so as a as a consequence all non midi files will be deleted anything that's not a midi file that's not zipped cuz we've had people just uploaded stuff that's not zipped so anything that's not zipped we just going we just going to delete it we're not even going to look at it. I'm not even going to look at it if it's not in a zip folder. Because people, I had someone the other day, I think they uploaded like 20 loops. Bless their heart. 
I didn't even look at them. It was so much stuff in there, like it was so disorganized. I just deleted it, and I was like, I don't have time to go through it. it needs to be zipped and organized so we can be able to uh, process it, so to speak. All right, naming conventions, and I'm gonna deal with this, and I'm gonna show you an example of this. Uh, when naming it, please include the file stuff. BPM MIDI file name dot mid. The following examples: 140 BPM. Groove Meister, this was my, my dudes, uh, 140 BPM Groove Meister, no kick, 140 BPM 68 Groove Meister, blah, 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 blah. So just again, I want to show you guys an example, and then I'm going to show you in practice how I would create uh, a MIDI file for a loop track, uh, and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get out of here. So if I go here to my folder, you can see that I've got 77 BPM lo-fi chill vibe dot mid. You know what I'm saying? Or we we'll just scroll down to something. 88 or what is that? 80, 98 BPM Afro Beat uh, 3 dot mid. Afro 3B underscore basic. Afro Beat 3 underscore no kick dot mid. You see what I'm saying? Uh, just getting down here. Afro Beat. So you see how when you upload in this way, it keeps everything locked and consistent and we can see what it is and we can have it organized by BPM. So if you just upload a bunch of stuff that ain't got no kind of structure to it, we're just gonna delete it. Cause we're not gonna, if you didn't put no BPM on it, if you didn't put anything like that, we're, we're just gonna delete it, all right? Uh, now something like this is okay. This is like shaker clap, tom, we kind of know what that is. These, these are okay. I'm not mad at these. Cause that's something that's kind of, and even like when I did my individual, like I did a folder that said individual, these are just kind of static patterns that just can be used for whatever, all right? So I'm not saying we, it has to be 100% BPM everything on everything, but that's helpful. It's helpful if you give us a BPM and it helps keep things organized. Unless you're doing something that's kind of an element-based type thing, then there's no reason for you to just kind of throw a name on something. So these are important. Make sure that you do those things. Last thing I want to point out, then I'm going to jump in and show you guys how to upload, uh, is all files in here are considered royalty-free because we've had some questions about that. Uh, and by uploading, you give full permission and consent for your tracks to be used uh, in any production royalty-free. Thanks for being a part of the community. So those are some things to... Um, to hold on to and remember when we're cre when you're creating uh, those things, when you're uploading to the community folder, um, that is going to be our stipulations. Uh, that is going to be your consent. Now, when you upload, it's just like that. You just literally go here, let's scroll out, hit add files, uh, or you could just literally drag in. So like I can come here and I can grab that zip file and Let's get out the way here. Grab that zip file and just drag it on there. Boom. You know, and then it gives me the option to just hit upload. And boom. Just like that. That's that easy. Create some MIDI files. Zip the fo put Put the BPM, the name convention correctly. Zip it up. Upload it. All right? That's it. That's the post. Don't do anything else. Anything extra shall be, will be, has been already deleted. We will not consider anything else. Then we will look through these, we will curate these, and then we will add them to the community f uh, folder um, uh, as needed and as necessary, and we're going to try to grow this to be huge. Um, how to download. Um, my man says how to download. Why did it just look like that? That's weird. I guess it's come behind me. How to download? Uh, I like giving, but I also want to. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It's on. The, I just showed this earlier. Uh, I just showed this earlier uh, to get to your download. Uh, in terms of you talking about downloading the MIDI files, they're literally on the um, on the product page. If you go to the product page and your account, they're here. You can download there. You also probably got an email that's, that shows you how to uh, download it. Uh, and it's all there on the product page and it's on your account as well. So you can easily just go to your account, go to your orders, and it'll be right there where you can download it. So it's it's there. And then if you're just trying to download loop track, screenshot this QR code uh, and you can, you can do it that way or what have you. All right. 
Uh, let me see if there's anything else I mi uh, Mitch, uh, missed and we're doing here. Uh, my man says, I will contribute loops. Happy to. Thank you so much. Um, this is genius. Someone, someone's market shares just went up. Super dope. Um, how do you download the app? I've been trying to download, but couldn't. Uh, just keep trying to download. Uh, if not, if you're having serious issues, because we we have had thousands of people. Like I'm not going to disclose that full number, but it's a crazy amount of people that have downloaded and they're on the site. Download. Like I guarantee you, like you can probably see on the website if I move myself out. Uh, here or whatever uh, it should pop up here in the corner in a second normally pops up in a corner uh, but there it is it's down there like people are literally it shows it shows people that are downloading uh, the plugin you can see it down in the corner there so if I go if I take it in go to this page let's just jump back over to the loop track page watch what happens down in the corner in just a second It'll show you uh, how many people, just people are just downloading it. There it is. Six minutes ago, somebody, it's down, it's, it's, off, the, it's off the screen. But six minutes ago, somebody just downloaded uh, Loop Track. So there's that. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, it's a lot of traffic on the site. So sometimes the downloads aren't perfect. But if you're having serious issues, just go up here to support. Click on that and send us a message, uh, send, submit a ticket, and we'll get you a direct link to it. It's not, it's not a big issue, you know, like just hit it up. I got a whole support team. They will, they will lock you in, bro, if you're having really, if you're having serious trouble, if you just can't get it downloaded. Uh, let's see what else, I'll make sure I mi mi miss anything. Uh, I think, I, oh, I already saw that one, okay. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Tell us about time signature. There's, oh, time signature in terms of uploading the loops. Uh, in terms of uploading loops, when you're doing time signature, uh, let's get over into the community folder. You can see an example right here. It says six, 68 BPM 6 8 ballot underscore with snap. Dot mid. Don't use like a backslash. I know like Tom commonly will do six slash eight, you know. Um, what happens is that messes up the the file hierarchy for one, but also for people that are using Windows, I found this out last week because of all of this mess. Um, uh, and I'm when I say mess, I mean like in terms of like, you know, the mess of, of trying to service thousands of people downloading, the, down, downloading something. Um, that backslashes mess up Windows users. And I know us as Mac people, we really don't, um, you know, we don't have much love for the Windows users, but we have to respect that there are some Windows users out there that are trying to use this product. And so when they try to download something and that, that backslash is in there, it's gonna mess up the whole folder and they just won't be able to download it. We ask us how we know, we found that out the hard way. So use 6-8, and use underscore or six underscore eight either works but don't use backslashes in any of your file names don't do hats slash loops you know or whatever don't do backslashes that as long as you don't use a backslash we're good all right uh so that's uh how that works or what have you uh will you develop more courses uh good great question we have more courses if you didn't know salters uh we have a whole page of courses we just dropped john blast's class master class we have an intro to logic class we have an intro to pro tools class uh we have producer classes with aaron lewis uh jamel kimbrough uh, uh david outing we even have one by the late and great uh my bro uh but you know he's in heaven now hopefully enjoying uh some time with jesus uh, uh by paris bowens as a class he taught um a couple of years before he passed uh with us uh on uh playing aux and being an aux player dope class 
uh, amazing. Uh, we have a mixing class from uh, John Yash. We have a mastering class uh, with uh, Herb Powers, uh, who is the GOAT mastering engineer. So, yes, we have tons of classes and we have more that we're going to be developing. We started in education and we will continue education. And I have a ton of more classes that are coming out next year. Um, so classes in education and teaching is the foundation of what we do plugins and products and softwares are just hooks that kind of you know it's kind of the butter but the bread of what we do is education that is that's the bread so if you want to learn some things we have some classes and i have some more courses uh coming down the pipeline for you guys all right so make sure you just hop on the site gospelproducers.com you'll see all of the classes i don't i don't like highlight this stuff much because i I, I, I try to be genuine with you guys. I'm not a, I'm not trying to be like a pushy, clickbaity, cash grabby salesman that's all the time trying to ask you guys for money. So I don't talk about these things a whole lot. But we have a whole suite, uh, as you can see, of just courses on our website from some of the top people in gospel. So make sure you guys go check those out if you get an opportunity. Uh, if it's in your wheelhouse, uh, we would appreciate the support uh, on those things. All right. So check out those classes. They're not free. So don't scan. This QR code is going to take you uh, over here to um, uh, to Loop Track. So don't think that these classes are free. They're not. Loop Track is free. All right. Uh, make sure. Can we do five four? Yeah, you can do any. You can do any time signature. You can do any time signature. Uh, gotta make sure I got anything. Then I'm gonna show you guys uh, how just to create some basic loops. I'm gonna create a couple of loops here in just a second, uh, and show you guys how how I would go about creating loops and then how we can upload them. All right. Um, thank you so much. He said the app is slapping. Got the MIDI files. Thanks to Mike. Blessing to you. Awesome, bro. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think I already looked at that. Uh, just downloaded both the app and the community files. Blessings to you, my bro. Thank you so much. Uh, Dale, look up a legal cat uh, characters uh, from the recording camera. There's a rules uh, for this. Absolutely. I think that is a, a great point. Thank you so much for that comment, Dale. Uh, he's always coming with the value on that. There is There are rules about naming that keeps us with our cross-platform um, compatibility, so you guys make sure you guys do that or what have you. All right, I think that's it on terms of like the MIDI files and loop track and all of that. So what I'm gonna do really quick here is I'm gonna actually create, uh, let's go back over here. I'm just gonna use Logic, and I'm gonna show you guys how, we can, how you can um, create uh, a MIDI file, you know, and export it. This will, you know, I'm going to use Logic, but we could do this in any uh, DAW, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to do like a simple four-bar loop. Let's set the BPM at my favorite BPM, 90. I think that's like, I think that's a great BPM. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let me see here real quick here. I'm going to create a couple of loops here real quick. So let me mute this mic for a second.
All right, so that's how I wanted to create it. Let me turn this back down for a second. Now I should still be able to hear. I'm just trying to. I don't want to. Uh... All right, so I created this simple four bar loop. As you notice, I use multiple claps. I use multiple, uh, I use a snap. I use some different things. So I'm gonna show you how I can take this one little four bar loop loop and flip it into uh, multiple loops, all right? It's just a simple process. So I mean, know that's kind of cheesy with the cowbell. I need more cowbell, all of that stuff like that, yada, yin, yang, or whatever. But this allows me to kind of take this and flip it into, for my folder, you know, this is how I would go about the process of creating loops. So you got the, the loop itself. So I'm gonna right click here and I got it by default as a, you know, thing, right click in Logic to, um, uh, export as a MIDI file, but if you need to find it, if you never use it, just go down to export and go to export uh, as a uh, MIDI file, all right? That's all you got to do, literally. Uh, and then it's going to pull up a folder here, and let's just, let's just add uh, in the folder we've already got, which is this folder. This is where we're going to put it at. If you don't know, here's another Mac hack. When you got a dialog box open like this, a dialog box and you want to jump to that folder and you don't feel like navigating, but you've already got that folder open somewhere, literally take that folder and drag it into your dialog box and it will take you to the folder. Mac hack, you know what I mean? Just do that or whatever. So here we are in that or whatever, and then we're gonna name this 90 BPM um, Cow bell groove it's just what i'm gonna call it or whatever you know just like that that's simple right uh so we'll have that that's saved now i'll take this groove and we'll just start deleting elements right so uh let's get rid of let's see what we got here so let's get rid of the kick first so i'll just select all of the kicks you can kind of figure out what I'm going to do here. So now you got a groove right there. So we'll export it as mini file. Uh, and then we'll just call this no kick. Bam. You know what I mean? And then I'll command Z. And then we'll take the key, we'll take the um, the uh, cowbell out actually. Well, I took something out, what did I take out? Oh, that's one clap, I'm sorry, wrong. Take out the, what's it called? No hats, let's take out the, let's take out the hats. Right, so no, no. Now we got no hats. Export as MIDI file. No hats. All right. So now I should have a, a snap around here somewhere. So we're, let's get rid of this. The claps. saying so now we got that right click export as MIDI file snap you know and then let's see how many files do I have in here now we got four I want to create one more uh, variation just one last stupid variation just for just 
just kick only. So now we'll take that. So that way I can truly have five MIDI files. Export, uh, kick. We'll call it kick only, but you know, that's just what it is. So now I've got five MIDI files in here, right? Uh, and I can literally take this and uh, so we got the kick only, we got the no hats, we got the snap, so let's bring in the snap. So let's just drag this in there or whatever, no. Uh, and then we'll drag in the no hats and then we'll drag in just for whatever we'll just drag in the full groove this is just this is probably going to sound like whatever it's going to sound real mid but whatever so now we got it Whatever, there you go. Uh, but that's a good that's a good quick way uh, that you could easily take uh, one loop, create a four bar, bar loop, and then just flip it into multiple loops. Right? You do that. Really, you only got to create like if we're talking about ten loops, you really only have to create like two. Because I made I flipped two four bar loops into five loops. So you could take two four bar loops and do the exact same way if you can be creative. It's not necessarily always about having to create variating loops, but if that's what you that's what you want to do, I definitely encourage that. Give us like a thousand just variated loops. That's dope. Uh, but you could also take the approach that I took just now and showed you a simple way that you could create uh, ten loops just using actually creating one two full loops. You know what I mean? And then flip it and freak it into five loops a piece. Uh, that's an easy way uh, to help us grow uh, this community. And like I said, you can take that and do it. So once you would finish that, it's really simple. Again, you would take this um, folder, compress it. Let me delete the other compressed folder. Uh, you take that folder. It's named. It's all in a folder. It's name, John Mike MIDI files, five loops, letting us know what's in it, compress it. There it is. And then we would go over to the website, the upload, submit files. Uh, let's refresh this page just to get us back to that. Here's all of the faults. I went over all of these earlier. You guys can check it out and read it for yourself. Hit add files, or you can literally just drag it from the, like I was just showing you guys a little bit ago. You could literally just come here and drag it drop it in that's it hit upload and boom finished uploading we got the loops and then we'll check them out look over them test them out if they're great then we'll upload them into the community folder for everybody uh, to be able to use but again i would love to be able to get um, I would love to be able to get like a, like a thousand of you guys because thousands have downloaded uh, loop track. Uh, I would love to get thousands of, a thousand of you guys to upload 10 loops and we would have 10,000 loops. But if I could get a hundred of y'all, just a hundred to upload 10 loops, we'd still have a thousand. What the Bible say one could chase a thousand? 10 could create a thousand, uh, uh, a hundred creating 10, great, a thousand, 10,000 creating 10 could be 10,000 or a thousand, Lord have mercy. That could be a hundred thousand, uh, a thousand creating 10 
can create 10,000. Math is hard. <laughs> all right, let's see what you guys are saying, and then uh, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. That's all I really wanted to show you guys today. Uh, let me get some, let me get some, let's bring the music in, too, just for some, uh, just for some vibe. Where is my music at? Let's get my music. Let's get my music back in here. Let's see. There we go. Just a, just a taste of it. Just a taste. I don't need a whole lot. All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, I know I missed uh, quite a bit there. Uh, let's see here. See, I'm new to the channel. I uh, really love Loop Track. Thanks for the gifting us of us. Bless you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much, Miss Danielle. Thank you for downloading. Thank you uh, so much. It really means a lot. Uh, I see it at C3. Are you are just using those specific examples? Oh, C1 gives you five. Uh, it depends. They're mapped all across the keys. I hope that answers what you was talking about. Mac hack. Yep, that's a that's a sweet. I use that every day, all day, because I'm always uploading files, and I've already put the file somewhere else, and I'm able to just drag that into that dialog box. Explosion when I figured that out. I can't remember who showed me that. Somebody showed me that like years, like a decade ago. It's been in Mac OS. It's been a Mac feature since like day one, apparently. It's not something new. It's something that's been in, if you got Mountain Lion on your computer, you can do that. If you got Snow Leopard on your computer, if you got an old uh, computer, uh, you can still do that. I see specific samples. Uh, that's why they're following with them. Yes, sir. Um... Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, you ah, well, I'm hoping, I'm more so hoping that you guys are blessed by this. It's not so, I'm already blessed. I have, for those of you who don't know, I have six children. Six, three girls, three boys. And the Bible says something very specific about a man that has a lot of children. It says blessed, uh, uh, children are a heritage uh, from the Lord and blessed is the man that has his quiver full of them. That's what it says about children. Some of you guys don't think y'all children are a blessing. I think my children are an absolute blessing to my life. They are the reason that I do everything I do. And so I have six children. And so my quiver is very full. Um, um, and so because I have six children, I'm already blessed. You know what I mean? Like there's, I, there's, no, other, there's no other metric in which I uh, define my being blessed than uh, the children that I have and the ability that I have to be able to serve them and my family and take care of them. That is my blessing. I'm hoping that Loop Track is a blessing to you because I'm already blessed. I don't really need anything else to measure my level of blessing. All of this crap back here is just stuff. It's not blessing. This isn't my blessing. This, th that console back there is not my blessing. The keyboard is not my blessing. Um, the money in my bank is not my blessing. None of that, it's just stuff. It's just stuff. And stuff comes, stuff goes, stuff gets old. You get new stuff, you get rid of the old stuff. It's all just stuff. And, we, and the reason it's called stuff is because we have a hole in us, naturally as humans, a void in our soul, and we try to stuff. We gotta put stuff in there. I ain't, I'm, I'm not a preacher, but you know, that's just my best analogy of what stuff is. It's not blessing, it's just stuff. My blessing is my children. My blessing is my family. My blessing is to be able to get up and serve them and go hard for them. But I pray that Loop Track is a blessing to you, all right, because I'm already blessed. All right, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot in there. I hope that blessed y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Thank you. He said I'll make some samples, please, man. Again, I'm I'm hoping to be able to get a thousand people to upload ten, just ten loops. I just showed you how you could make five with one loop, with one four bar loop. I just showed you how you can flip. And that was cheesy. That was just a little cheesy loop that was at the top of my head. You could easily, easily, easily build 
um, build this out. Let me make sure my music isn't too loud. Let me bring that down just to hear a bit more. Um, yeah, please do that. Please help out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is what you've done uh, for the Mac. Uh, would be even more awesome across a couple of more platforms like iPad and Akai MPC. I don't know if I'm gonna, I, I haven't really dealt in, dug into uh, MPC development. I actually am studying iOS development currently. That is what's currently going on in my life. I can't make no promises as to when it's coming to iOS because I am studying. It took me two years to get to a point where I can develop uh, plugins for Mac OS and Windows, and I'm still learning. I'm just figuring out AAX. I've been working on learning uh, how to develop for Pro Tools, AAX version, for like a year almost. Like, development is a crazy game, and it's a lot. It's a, so when you see an iPad app, the fact that you can just swipe up and open, some developer put years of time into learning how to write something that's very simple. Uh, very simple utility, something as simple as that. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm, I'm pu I've put in a ton of time learning that, and I'm working on learning uh, iOS at this current uh, current point or whatever, uh, and hope to have something soon uh, with that. I don't, I don't have an ETA though. I can't say, you know, that by this time next year, everything, everything that I make is going to be on iOS. I don't know. It might take me another two years to figure this stuff out. Uh, so I'm experimenting, I'm learning, and hopefully one day I'll be able to uh, bring this stuff over to iOS. But right now, uh, I don't I don't have an ETA for you guys. But uh, I don't know about Akai. I, I, I can't even think about that, you know, about trying to put something on the NPC. Um, Loop Track is a blessing. I definitely... Thank you. Thank you. Got somebody else that's going to upload 10. Uh, let's see. Who did your channel music? How can I get it? It's dope. Uh, so that is Peculiar Sounds. We did that ourselves in-house. That is, uh, I'm hoping, I think, I'm actually thinking about putting this on um, on uh, iTunes or Apple Music. It's currently not on, uh, on Apple Music, uh, but we do everything in-house. And that track was done using one of our other plugins. If you guys don't know about it, if you've been hanging out and talking about uh, loop track. I just want to show you guys this really, really quickly. Um, wait on it here. It's coming up here. Let me put it up on the screen uh, for those of you who just don't know. There we go. Let's bring this over here. We created Peculiar Sounds. Um, this is from Doobie Pow. Dope musicians. All of the sounds you're hearing on this track were created with Peculiar Sounds. All right. Uh, this is another plugin that we've developed. Um, works for Mac PC. You can go to the website. You'll be able to hear examples, uh, sounds off the block, all of those things like that. It's super, super dope. We've got expansions for that. So check that out. That's just a shameless plug. Doesn't cost me anything. You can, you don't have to buy it. It's, you know, whatever. It's just if you like it, if you're interested, check out Peculiar Sounds. That's what this track is made using. All of the sounds, the drums, everything, all of that comes from uh, Peculiar Sounds. Uh, so that's uh, that or what have you. Yes, sir. He said preach on. Keep the children before you. Yeah, keep the children. Uh, I'm going to upload some loops. Thank you so much, man. Please try. I mean, yeah, man, all of us. You saw that little mid, crazy, little dry little cowbell loop I just created. If I could do that, you know, anybody can can create a loop. Uh, what's up, my sir? How we doing? Uh, yes, sir. Absolutely. Peculiar Sounds. Yes, Peculiar Sounds. Super dope plug-in uh, that we developed. Uh, this was, uh, we, it's been out for a year. Uh, we, you can check that out. You can actually type in peculiarsounds.com. Uh, it'll take you over here and you can see like reviews from other producers, all of that, man. You can even see Doobie Powell himself actually using the sounds in an actual performance, uh, him actually uh, performing uh, using the plugin. Uh, so you can check that out. 
Uh, you can see all of the reviews and all of the things that producers think about Hear Your Sounds. Uh, it's our flagship plugin. It's the top of what we've done. I put a lot of uh, work into building Hear Your Sounds. So uh, you guys can check that out. Dope plugin. Um, keys, all of the sounds that you hear in this track that's playing underneath me, that's all peculiar sounds. It's all peculiar sounds, every bit of it, all of it, drums, everything concluded, except for the vocal. Uh, no, I don't think it's any vocal. It's not any vocal samples in there, but the, everything else in there. No, the vocal sample is from uh, the vocal sample is from peculiar sounds as well. Yep, the vocal sample is in there. It's in the it's in the drums, thing or what have you. Oh, um, man, just save your money whenever you can. And, and you know, it's a blessing. Uh, we, and just stay tuned. Get on the mailing list. From time to time, we do uh, sales. We do discounts. We do things like that over the course of the year. So make sure you ju jump on, you know, our mailing list. Go on the website. Uh, get on that. That'll help you, um, um, you know, you'll know when we do it up. Just follow me on social. Like if I do a sale, we do a sale on Peculiar Sounds, I'll drop that down in the uh, in the chat or what have you. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, folks, this has been fun. This has been really, really fun. I appreciate you guys hanging out, uh, checking out. Make sure you're on the way out. Hit the share button. I'm leaving this video up. I'm not closing it down. You can go back and watch it. You can go back and do all those things like that. I appreciate all of you guys uh, for the support uh, and all of those things like that. And we will talk to you guys on the, uh, the next video. I'll be back again, I'm sure, with some more stuff. Uh, and I'll tap back in with y'all later. I'm out. All right. Peace. Hey, bro. John Mike, you done done it again, bro. You done done it again. It's a five, ain't it? You want a five, ain't it? Uh -huh.